Hi guys, I hope you're doing great. So basically, I know most of you guys have been following my YouTube channel since more than a an year. And I have been contributing with a lot of different talent videos and practical ETL aspects. And this time, I basically thought about consolidating everything in one single course. And I've compiled this course that I've been placed or that is, that is placed on Odemi. And this course basically like covers everything and like all the topics have been very much categorized in proper chapters and then they have the corresponding videos related to that and and keep in mind this is like once again completely practical things so i don't i don't uh, too much focus on theoretical aspects because there is not much to be focusing on and i want to like give you guys the most in least possible time so that you can get uh, most of the practical things and you have your practical hands-on experience on talent so uh, yeah just just go through the course and yeah the preview video i have already basically included in this video on youtube that you are currently watching so yeah so just just go so the link i'm gonna share in the description of this video so just go through it have a look on the course and yeah just get it and start exploring there's a lot that you can learn with talent and keep in mind that this is one of well not one of but this is literally the leading etl tool out there and there are thousands of jobs of etl so if you know good about these etl concepts you you can make a good worth out of it and uh, yeah so the first section is going to be introduction then schemas so all these things i have already discussed in the same video uh, yeah in the, in the upcoming minutes and yep yeah, just just go through it and the, there is a lot and everything is very much categorized and organized and consolidated so i'm looking forward to see you guys in the course yeah do enroll the course and yeah i am glad to see you guys there and yes that's it so these are all the topics so the link is in the description just go through it and yo have fun. Hi guys, welcome to this ETL talent practical course, which is going to be spanning over 5.5 .5 hours of uh, a variety of different videos. And uh, this is going to be an all in one course. And this is going to be completely practical, only necessary theory concepts will be discussed. And I I try to make uh, it more practically oriented so that once you have learn or maybe uh, complete this course, you should be practically really sound on every single concept. And uh, I'm going to discuss the practical use cases from a, from a variety of different industries. And every single concept will be discussed in regards to the practical application of it. And uh, this course is going to be a 5.5 .5 hours, like five, five and a half hours of uh, entire course, entire uh, video tutorials. And uh, this is highly optimized and very organized. So if you follow it in the same order as it is organized, I can assure you that in one month of time, you guys can be really good at it. Just, just follow it in the same pattern. And the reason why I'm mentioning it that uh, I have seen other Udemy courses with 20 hours and even 40 hours. But uh, so I noticed that there is a lot of repetition and redundancy in their talks. So I, 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 I could also have made this course for like 15 or 20 hours, but I wanted to make it as optimized as I can for you guys. So it's, that's how it turned out to be five and a half hours, of course. But uh, yeah. And apart from that, this course is divided in 11 sections and just follow it in the same order. And I have basically designed and developed this course after more than two years of full-time talent experience. So trust me, if you follow it closely, you guys can be super professional at it. And uh, I, have, I have basically discussed every single concept in so much detail that even you cannot find it on talent documentation website. And this, this requires uh, information to be gathered from a variety of different sources and also after a lot of experience. So now let's discuss each of this section very briefly so that you get a brief idea about what will be discussed. So without further talks, so the first section is going to be introduction section and we are going to see the high level concepts that you need to have 
uh, in regards to start working with talent. So we're going to see the, uh, for example, how variables can be used or maybe how metadata can be handled or maybe if you want to work with the databases or files, so where and how you can handle them and how you could create different ETL jobs and how or maybe what are the best uh, strategies to lay out your components on the canvas and uh, the context groups and, and for example, if you want to switch between different environments like production, development, testing, so how this could be carried out with the help of one of the one of the variables. So all of these brief things. So after going through introduction, you guys should have the basic understanding and then you can start digging into every single concept in detail. So the second section is going to be about talent schema concepts. So you're going to see if uh, you want to handle good or bad schema from different files or databases or if you want to handle complex schemas, like how can you pipeline, fix, uh, like good and bad records, how could you have uh, more strong security checks, and uh, yeah, different schema checks. The third section is going to be about file parsing. We're going to discuss how flat files, Excel, JSON files could be parsed and how they can be configured effectively. In the fourth section, we talk about databases, and this is going to be a very detailed section because every single company out there is doing a lot of work on the databases. Most of the data is coming from databases, stored in databases, all data warehouses, everything. So this is a bit special section for you guys because I have uh, digged into every single detail that could make your uh, journey more easy with this one. And we, we not we don't we don't only talk about the normal database components, but also about the advanced components, such as if you want to do the bulk insert, or maybe if you want to work on the ELT concept, which is extract, load, and transform. And uh, if you want to work with very complex database tables, so how could you handle those schemas of that? And there is a built-in SQL editor inside Talent. We're going to see that. And if you want to work with single ind individual SQL queries or multiple SQL queries combined in components, and if you want to execute multiple queries and complex with different dependencies, we're going to discuss this in very detail. The next section is going to be about mappings and lookups. So you're going to see how uh, yeah, mappings and different types of SQL joins can be performed, but this is also very detailed. And we're going to see closely how uh, different SQL joins could be performed. The next section is going to be about job optimization concepts. And uh, yeah, that includes the concept of parent and child jobs so that you can transfer data from a parent to a child job and from child to parent, but how you can uh, like split down a job into multiple jobs or how can you how you can use Java code to make these things work more better or how, how you can store data in memory. But it's this is very important and this is a very uh, yeah helpful helpful section. The next one is going to be about loops. So pretty much like uh, every programming language, like for loop, while loop, and we discuss a variety of other loops and not only loops. But there are some advanced looping uh, components. We discuss them in detail. And the next section is also one of my favorites. This is advanced uh, transformations in Talend. So yeah. We're going to discuss about some some bit, something like pivoting, unpivoting, normalization, denormalization, multicasting, and blah blah blah. So that's that's going to be also fun. The next section about exception handling, error handling, logging. Uh, yep. And the next section is also one of my favorites, which is talent exchange. So I think maybe you got some of you guys know what talent exchange is. So anyone can create their own components and they can put it on Talent Exchange, which, which is a platform for developers. So I'm gonna explain you how you can use Talent Exchange because sometimes you cannot find your required components inside Talent. So you can look for it on Talent Exchange. You download it and configure it and you can use it. Even you can develop your own custom components and load it on Talent Exchange. So we're going to see that in detail. And the last topic is about some of the additional helpful topics that could be effective for you guys. 
So if you guys have any query, any concern, just uh, just ping me, write me a message, and I'll try to reply you as fast as possible. And yeah, go ahead, join the course, and I hope this is going to be a very great learning uh, learning experience for you guys. And I'm looking forward to helping you guys with the course and with understanding your concepts in very effective and efficient way. Thank you so much.